Welcome back to Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the set operations in Photoshop CC but it's basic same approach for CS5 etc. Now I'm just going to go over to various tools. I'm going to use the a circle, just a basic design. Could of course use any of the custom shapes, rectangle etc. I'm using ellipse but I could use any of these ones as well. I'm just going to use circle so it's more obvious to see the design. And the key thing here is shape set the shape, shape layer, not any of these other ones where you could do it with path but I'm going to go with shape, fill the black and here's the key thing, here's the various settings. So I'm just going to quickly go new layer, just apply it and I'm just going to go up there, combine shapes. So I've actually got the option as combine shape. Now if I actually go for this option I'm just going to go subtract front shape, suddenly you actually see it just removes all the rest of the uh, design so that's uh, useful if you're creating masks and other things I guess frames etc so just going to use combined shapes initially and next thing I'm going to do is actually add another shape now I want to actually add the shape to this this design that is currently there so you've actually got now that actually is added to the shape combined shapes I can also go to select subtract and that actually just removes it. So you've actually got that circle, like obviously a moon shape that's been created. Intersect, and that's the only part of the intersection. So, so that part of the set, obviously that's all been cleared. That bit's been cleared as well. And you've just got this actual, just basic design. And exclude. And well, that's the bit obviously that's uh, been over the overlap that's been excluded the rest of the shape just there and there still exists right well, I'm actually going to go back to the combine option and I'm just going to add a few more so I'm just going to quickly add a few more designs and now the key thing here is not to actually go and set the uh, exclude or subtract while you're doing this one now what you want is if you're going to do a sort of you want a gap in the middle say just to make a sort of ring design just create that now go up to the option here subtract from shape and now it's actually subtracted and that's it so you've actually got your design there it is complete and of course at this point you can go to the edit and you would be able to you think define custom shape well that doesn't always actually end up enabled so uh, the key thing after that is actually I've always found it's and I'm certain there's other ways of doing it but I've always just gone to this and just selected all of them using direct selection tool now define custom shape that's it you've actually got the custom shape which you can of course you can continue modifying it adding additional parts or removing additional parts as well so just remove that now and I've got a custom shape which I'll quickly show you the end and there's the actual custom shape that was originally created well hope you found this uh, quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to graphic extras channel always adding many new videos every couple of days thank you much